Hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick, where my purpose is to inspire, empower, and motivate you to live longer, healthier, and more abundant lives. And today's video is all about the amazing anti-aging powers of curcumin, or curcumin, however you like to pronounce it. Well, this is part two of a three-part series. The first part, I talked about the power of curcumin to help you lose weight. Part three, which is going to be the next video, is all about the disease-fighting properties of curcumin, which is heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and things like that. But like I said, this one's all about how curcumin or curcumin can help you fight the aging process. Now, I will tell you this. I want to say all disclaimers straight up is that there's no way you can stop the aging process. Everybody's going to get old, okay? You're not immortal. You're not going to live like Moses to 800 years old. So, this is an attempt to slow down the aging process or at least make it a whole lot more graceful so that you don't look older than before your time. So what if you think about celebrities, celebrities who spend thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars for their beauty, for their looks, different shots and injections and so on that cost literally thousands per shot. What if you could take something as simple as a spice that could actually help you do the same thing, right? Well, that's really what curcumin or curcumin is all about. It's really its anti-aging properties, which are well-documented. So that's what we're gonna be going over today. So make sure you like, you share, you comment, and subscribe. Make sure you click that little bell notification so that you get notified anytime I do a video. And hey, a lot of you already know out there that I'm all about the keto diet and eating healthy. One of the things that we can do to help with the aging process is to reduce inflammation. And the keto diet is great for that. But some of you may not know enough about it or looking for more help. Check the description down below and you can get all the information about my keto course that you need. And also too, if you're looking for a cookbook that's really simple and easy, my KISS cookbook, which is keto, is super simple. You can check that out too in the description below. But let's go ahead and get started on the anti-aging properties of curcumin. So the first thing is really to understand the telomere theory and what the telomeres are about. Telomeres are basically the little end caps at the end of your DNA. So think of it like this. Telomeres are very simply just like the tips at the end of your shoelaces, okay? Those tips have a purpose. They actually have a name too, so quiz, put the name down below in the comment and let me know if you know what the name of those tips are. Well, anyway, those tips help protect the ends of your shoelaces. Otherwise, your shoelace is just going to fray and open up, and next thing you know, you can have strings of shoelaces. So basically, your telomeres are the same thing. Every time your cells replicate, every time they divide, it starts to cause some damage to the end of those telomeres. So the best thing we can do is keep those telomeres healthy and safe, because by doing that, you increase your longevity. And also, too, there's a tremendous amount of research showing that the length of the telomeres, those little tips right here, Okay, those tips, the length of it can also determine your longevity. So you want to protect them. So telomeres are the end cap segments of DNA. Each time a cell replicates, a small piece of DNA is taken off the end of each chromosome. The shorter the telomere gets, the more it affects gene expression. So once again, one of the purposes of those telomeres is to also keep the DNA from interacting with other strands of DNA that are near it. So if we can protect these little tips at the end, it's going to go a long way when it comes to your longevity. So like I said, every time your cells divide, what we call replicate, which means they double themselves, and cells keep doubling and doubling, they actually start to pull apart. So the DNA lines up in the middle, it duplicates itself, and then it starts to pull apart into two separate but identical cells. So with each cell division, the cells actually start to cause the expression of telomerase. Okay, so telomerase is a protein that synthesizes and elongates the telomeres. So you want to make sure that that's happening. You want plenty of telomerase being excreted because if it isn't, then the telomeres start to shorten up. And like I said, that's not a good thing when it comes to longevity. Researchers hypothesized that curcumin could increase telomerase expression and thereby help preserve telomere length. So there it is, guys. You have to make sure you protect the length of the telomeres. Now, a lot of things can damage the telomeres, such as oxidative stress, reactive oxygen species. You know them as uh, free radicals. So these types of things, pollutants, chemicals, can damage your telomeres. So you want to make sure you're using, say, curcumin as one of the methods to protect those tips. Now, to test their hypothesis, what doctors did is really analyze the brains of Alzheimer's patients. Because as you know, with Alzheimer's patients, they have this placking, okay, this beta amyloid plaque that's inside their brains that causes the brains to not function the way they're supposed to. So by analyzing 
this damage done to the brain and see if curcumin can actually help it, they're able to determine the effects of anti-aging on the brain itself. Researchers measured the effects of curcumin on cell survival and cell growth, intracellular oxidative stress, and telomerase expression in those brain cells. So once again, they measured them with patients who have beta amyloid placking, which is your Alzheimer's patients. And what they found was actually pretty amazing. Results showed that the brain protecting effects of curcumin and Alzheimer's may be primarily due to its effect on telomerase expression. When telomerase expression was inhibited, the protective effects produced by curcumin disappeared. Now there's a couple of different benefits or reasons why curcumin is so effective. Number one is its antioxidant properties. It is a superior antioxidant and as we talked about earlier these reactive oxygen species which are these free radicals okay they are tearing up our bodies and what ends up happening is they cause a lot of what we call oxidative stress. So if you can use a good powerful antioxidant you can beat that and, and curcumin is one of them. The other thing it does too, it's a powerful anti-inflammatory agent. So one of the things I talk about in a lot of my videos, and, and please go back and watch some of them, is I talk about the effects of inflammation on the body and how much disease it can actually form. Anything from heart disease, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, they're all linked to the inflammatory process. Now I'm not talking about when you get an inflamed knee, if you twist a knee or an ankle, I'm talking about chronic systemic inflammation that goes on in your whole body. And that's one of the great things that curcumin can help battle. Now, as I mentioned on one of the previous slides, there are numerous factors that can cause the brain to age or at least age prematurely. These include the cumulative effects of oxidative stress, environmental toxins, inflammation, the buildup of toxic proteins, the loss of energy generating power, and gradual damage to the vital genes in individual cells. So like I talked about, the oxidative stress that happens because of pollutants and toxins and things that you eat. A lot of the foods that you eat can cause reactive oxygen species. Carbohydrates, for example. Excessive amount of carbs lead to reactive oxygen species or free radicals. The other thing too is we're looking at the, the loss of energy. One of the big, big factors when it comes to that is mitochondria. I talked about in one of the previous videos about mitochondria biogenesis, creating new mitochondria. That's an important thing because mitochondria mitochondria are the powerhouse. They would generate the energy inside the cells. And the brain, your brain has a tremendous amount of mitochondria. Without that, your brain doesn't function well, okay? You have very low energy power to your brain, which is, once again, one of the things that you need most energy to. And what animal studies have shown is that curcumin can actually affect and push back the effects of the toxins I was just talking about. For example, studies demonstrate curcumin's ability to improve management of cellular energy. Once again, like I was talking about, the mitochondria in your cell, those are the powerhouses. You have to maintain good mitochondria. In fact, a lot of people are hearing now about mitochondrial disorders, okay? So these are things that, or disease processes that can happen as a result of damaged mitochondria. One of them being cancer. So one of the things people are looking at is the fact that cancer cells have damaged mitochondria, and because they have damaged mitochondria, they cannot utilize fats for fuel. It's one of the great things about the ketogenic diet is that because it uses fats for fuel, you can literally starve cancer cells because cancer cells need fermentation. They need fermentation of sugars to actually survive. So if you can convert to a diet that's lower in carbohydrates, higher in healthy fats, and even proteins, you would do a whole lot better off when it comes to cancer. The result is reduced fat oxidation and decreased accumulation of toxic molecules that contribute to premature brain cell death. Now remember, your brain is made of about 60% fat. So when we talk about fat oxidation, it is the breaking down of that fat. The last thing you want to do is break down parts of your brain, okay? So because your brain has so much fat, you want to make sure you don't have fat oxidation there. So curcumin, once again, is a rock star when it comes to inhibiting that. Now this is a really big factor because, you know, when you can generate new cells, new healthy cells, it's always a plus. So curcumin has the ability to affect genes that then stimulate new cell growth. In addition, much of curcumin's value in the aging brain may relate to its ability to turn on genes that trigger the emergence of new brain cells. In a study of adult mice, when supplemented with curcumin, the mice experienced a significant increase in new neuron formation. Now guys, this is unheard of. 
This relates a lot to what we call neuroplasticity. And neuroplasticity we do with our brain training patients is when the brain can actually create new neural pathways. But what this is saying is you could actually start to create new nerve cells or ner new neurons. And that's huge too because anytime you can help regenerate the brain, I have to tell you, that's a great thing because so many things we do, as I talked about earlier, are so toxic for the brain that it actually starts to kill brain cells off. And we talk out about, about that a lot with teenagers and we talk about some of the things they're doing. And, hey, guys, you're killing your brain cells. But in reality, even as adults, we do it too because of the, the poor lifestyles, the lifestyles that are toxic that we take on that can actually cause our cells to die. So if we can start to create and trigger new brain cells because of curcumin's effect on the brain and stimulating this new activity, that's a plus. So guys, I hope you start including curcumin in your diet. It's definitely one of the things I include in my diet. It is a rock star, one of those essentials. And like I said, on the next video, I'm gonna be talking about curcumin's effect on how it really inhibits and really prevents things like cancer and heart disease and diabetes and things like that. So you definitely wanna check that one out. And before you go, make sure you check out my other videos too. If you like this video, you're going to love those videos too. So this is Dr. Nick. I love and appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.